Hi, welcome to Hospitality Live with Rupesh. Each week, we feature an industry leader that will share the latest trends and the best strategies to help you grow. Now, welcome your host, Rupesh Patel. Hey guys, guess we're live on the internet and there something super funny all right we're, we are live guys welcome to the show this is episode number 41 and last week um i said we are live on the internet and my kids laughed and made fun of me they're like of course you're live on the internet it was so funny uh we laughed for like 20 minutes and it was just really funny to uh have that conversation with them they're like yes you are on the internet and uh it, it was just it was amazing it was uh it was really funny to share that with them yes we are on the internet guys let me know where you're watching from comment and let me know where you're listening from too some people are driving to work and listening to this so i've had a lot of people comment saying hey i am doing this while i'm doing something else or i'm watching the front desk while i am uh listening to your show so guys thank you so much for joining me here weekly every Wednesday at 9.30. And let me just see where people are watching from. Good morning, Jeremy, Alejandro, uh, Stephanie, Kimberly, welcome from Jacksonville, Paige, Christopher, Kirit from Houston, Texas, Darsh from uh, Kentucky, and Suresh from Maryland. Guys, keep posting Springfield, Alabama. We've had people from all over the world actually listening and commenting. So guys, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> Kimberly says my daughter is laughing right now at this comment. Yes, we are live on the internets. I said I was going to say internets this morning to my kids and they're laughing their butts off. So guys, welcome to the show. I am super excited about this. And today it's just me and I'm very nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I am super nervous about presenting this. I don't know why. I'm, I typically don't get nervous, but I, today I am. So guys, uh, bear with me if I screw up. You know we're human, and uh, I, I might screw up today just to just to make you laugh. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much. God, there's so many people. Claremont, uh, Paul, good morning. Omaha, Jersey, Canada, um, India, guys, welcome. Dallas, Texas, Gary from Chicago. Ah, I'm I'm super happy that all of you guys are on, and today's gonna be a great show. It's all me. It's all about TripAdvisor and ramping our hotels up. This title is Road to Recovery, 10 Ways to Optimize Your Hotel, Hotel's TripAdvisor Listing to Get More Bookings. And that's what we need right now as we all ramp up, open up, and uh, really, you know, kind of, it's kind of a weird place right now, and uh, we don't know. So comment uh, what's happening in your town. You know, I am all about protesting and speaking up and, you know, freedom of speech and all of those things but I am not for violence, right? And I'm just not for that. And um, uh, uh, it's uh, sad to hear our friends talk about their business that got burned down or looted. And you know, it's pretty heartbreaking to see all of these different uh, scenarios unfold on live television. And you know, I try not, to, I, in the past I've never watched TV. I don't watch TV right now, but I have been focusing, focusing on the news because um, I want to know what's going on in the world, just like you do. And so, you know, um, we're kind of all over the place. And, uh, you know, I just hope that uh, we recover from this. And, you know, yeah, uh, we all need to speak up if we believe in something. And we all need to talk about things that are important to us, especially equality, especially racism. You know, I posted yesterday, yes, I've been a, uh, a I've had, you know, had people uh, be uh profiling me or profile me in the past. And uh, yes, I've gotten kicked out of a store or two uh, because of the, the color of my skin or I don't know what, but you know, I still see it often once in a while. Um, you know, we're in the South and in the South, uh, it actually it happens nationwide or worldwide, but in the South it's, it's prevalent because, you know, um, I, I, I'm not sure why, but I've been at the front desk where like, is this hotel owned by an Indian person? Um, and, and if the GM or the person working there says, yes, they're like, well, I'm not staying here. And so, you know, these are the things that we all need to get over and kind of 
teach each other that, hey, it's okay to uh, be a certain race. It's okay to be uh, who you are. And that's what I believe in right now. So I'm sure you guys all believe in too in equality. So guys, welcome to the show. Um, that was kind of my mindset this week. Also another mindset this week, uh, it, it was, what's a business phrase? I, I posted yesterday, it was a lot, uh, so many funny things people said. What's one business phrase or word that drives you crazy? Like absolutely drives you nuts. And you know, for me, it's crux. Like when people use, ah, it's the crux of whatever, it drives me crazy. Cause I'm like, ah, I don't know why. And then also another one is, let me ask you a question. Listen, just ask me the question. I have a lot of people on, uh, that send me a message here on LinkedIn and they're like, hey, can I ask you a question? I'm like, yes, that shouldn't have been like a, that shouldn't have been a, a message to me. Just ask the question instead of let me ask you a question, right? Um, so those are the two words that drive me crazy. Guys, tell me, comment and let me know uh, what words and phrases drive you nuts because, you know, we're all here, here to help each other and, you know, sometimes have a good time too. I posted on Friday last week that got, I think, over 30,000 views now. A guy that was just, you know, I, I like to have fun. You know, here's, here's the thing. I like to have a, a good time time no matter what I do and I posted you know, somebody I saw on, on on Instagram and uh, he had a mask on and in the middle of the mask it had a little button that you push and it opened up a little door and he drank his beer and closed it back up it was just funny and so you know we have to laugh you know right now you can either be mad and sad or you could stay positive. And I've been positive. You know, we've talked about all these last things these last three months about how to stay positive, how to stay focused, how to stay optimistic that things are going to get better, right? And guys, I'm reading the comments here. Uh, <laughs> a bunch of people say, uh, let's unpack that, circling, let's circle back around. Like, yeah, let's circle back around and, and, and find out. Uh, there, there are so many funny or you know, comments that drive people crazy. Uh, guys, welcome. Welcome from all over the United States, all over the world. Thank you so much for joining this conversation. And please let me know. And by the way, guys, I am giving away a $50 gift card credit to uh, this this week's episode sponsor. And it is, let me turn this off. Let me turn it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, take this off. All right. This week's sponsor is smartguests.com. It's actually my website that has supported over 4,300 hotels now nationwide. Uh, we support the United States and Canada with marketing, customer service tools, operation tools. We've had a ton of people this past week as hotels have opened up, order on, uh, online from us. You can even get those uh, social distancing uh, floor decals, which have been uh, super easy instead of putting a piece of tape on the floor and it all gets grimy uh use a floor decal and you can find those at smartguests.com and um, that's a sa shameless plug for me but i'm actually, actually sponsoring my own show this week and guys uh if you need anything for operations i even had something somebody made actually you know you could customize any of our products on the, on the website but this week or actually last week somebody customized you know with the door in a door lock you can put the key in like this or like this we have a thing called the DND insert. So basically, if, if there's a DND on the door, you insert it. And uh, somebody made up a thing. They customize it on the website because it's fully customized. They put uh, something about being green, or you couldn't. We couldn't enter, but we still care about you. And they insert it uh, into the door lock. It was really cool. I was like, oh wow, they're using this thing that we use for DNDs, but actually turning it to like a COVID or a uh, or a uh, sanitization thing, which is which is awesome. So guys, thank you so much uh, for smartguests.com as far as a sponsor this week. And guys, uh, hit up smartguests.com. Let me turn this off. All right, guys, I'm super excited about this week. And by the way, like I said, I'm giving away one person a $50 gift card to before the end of the show. I'll be picking it out. So the person that's most engaged with your comments, with your feedback, Please post, hit the like button right now too. So that's that's one thing that you could do to get involved and become a, a winner. So I'm gonna be looking at the comments and doing this all by myself today. So bear with me if I do mess up. And today's episode is all about TripAdvisor. And really, it's not just about TripAdvisor, it's all your social media channels, including you know, uh, Expedia, hotels.com, booking.com. Uh, your Google page, which is huge. It could be even for your Yelp page or any other review sites that you have that you're focusing on. What I like to do is I like to look at my e-commerce dashboard or the dashboard that I look at for the last six months or a year and see where businesses come from. And then especially these last three months, find out where businesses come from 
And I know somebody said they hate double down on, as a phrase, but yeah, I like to double down. I like to double down on things that are really working and put money towards those things. If it's advertising, if it's marketing dollars, if it's just putting a focus on one channel that's bringing in business and try to get more business. And that's what we're here to do today. I'm gonna teach you. So you're gonna be learning tips on increasing your ranking and reviews and ratings, because here's the thing, we can't just sit by and, you know, we might be closed or, or even open, but there's a, an opportunity for us right now. And we've been doing this for the last three months and it's helped because we've seen our competition and some of these uh, markets that we're in that they're not doing anything. So this is a perfect opportunity for all of us to increase our, our reviews and re increase our social uh, proof. That's what it's really called. It's how you're doing on social media, right? How, what guests are saying about you in uh, online, which is super important. So I have my pretty list again, instead of that crazy, uh, <laughs> crazy to, uh, uh, notes that I would be taking on my book. It'd be like all over the place. So guys, I'm going to be reading off my book too, because it's only me and hey, it might get uh, up to a point where there's quiet time and I'm okay with that too. All right. So you're also going to discover what guests are searching for right now. And I'm going to show some tools that you can use and how to convert them into a booking. That's our goal, right? We're our listeners. We want to ensure them that our hotel's clean and you know things that they're looking for, but then also we're looking at um, we're looking at the conversion part of the whole thing too, because we want to make sure that they understand that hey, uh, we want them to book with us and not and not anybody else. So, guys, today's episode is ten ways to optimize your hotel uh, hope to hotels TripAdvisor listing. And uh, all right, so let's see who's online, guys. Parker, Travis, listen, Travis Summers has been awesome. If you need your LinkedIn profile. If you need your LinkedIn summary page optimized, he's actually helping me with my personal website and hit up Travis. He's in the comments, guys. Thank you so much, Travis. Thanks for joining us. And, uh, you know, these are the times we continue learning. Like every single day, I'm learning something new. I'm learning something that's going to change my business. I'm, gonna, I'm learning something that's going to help me improve, right? All right. So let's get right into this. If you're ready, let me know. Uh, and there's a bunch of people on, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. So, let me pull up my facts because I, I love facts and uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Uh, where is it? Let me see. I'm working on two screens today. F, all right, here's, here it is. All right, so I'm going to share this screen. And, all right, all right. So here are the facts. Uh, according to TripAdvisor, 463 million visitors come to their website every single month. Now, what does that mean for all of us? That means we have that many chances of somebody trying to look at your website, look at your profile on, on TripAdvisor and then convert them, right? So you see 66% of the people are using mobile, which is awesome. Like we, I didn't realize it was that big. So this is coming off of their, one of their uh, presentations that they just did for their investors. And I just pulled it on like, let me share this because because I think it's very important. They have 500 airlines, they have, um, hotels like let me see how many hotels they actually have 2.3 million accommodations and that's uh, including a little bit of everything but i i know hotels are a big part of it and uh last year they did 1.56 billion dollars in revenue billion dollars in revenue so what does that mean for all of us that means we have that opportunity to take a percentage of that revenue and uh and and really take advantage of that that some of that well, we could take it in right so Guys, let us know where you're watching from. Continue doing that conversation. Uh, please post and let us know. And yeah, Melissa Jones, you're right. Please don't rely on one platform, right? Uh, we're talking about everything. So today it's not just TripAdvisor, but you're going to take these ideas and take them to other platforms such as Google, right? There's opportunities for all of these platforms. So let's get right into it. So the num the first one. Are you actually, and I'm going to pull up our some of our, our management pages real quick just so you can see, uh, but are you actually logging in into your TripAdvisor management page, your management center every single day just to understand, you know, uh, what's going on with my visitors that are coming to my website? And then, uh, you know, is my, is my uh, information correct? Because there's a lot in the last couple of weeks, I've coached at least 35 now people and almost every single person that I've coached um, when we're talking about marketing, we're talking about reviews and we're talking about service. 
they haven't gone and done some of these things. So uh, I'm surprised that they don't log in. And guys, do you, how often do you log into your TripAdvisor page to look at it, either through the mobile app or through your desktop or laptop, right? Let us know. I'd be interested to learn like how many people actually are logging in. And and, and guys, if you comment, I'm going to definitely be sharing your uh, your comments here. So, you know, uh, somebody says every single day. Uh, it, yeah, it's definitely, it, it, right now, it, it, and someone's saying it's first impressions mean everything. Um, I think it's very important. I think it's super important that we're all over it. So logging into your management page every single day is going to be super important to check on reviews because like I, I i believe that if you're not logging in you're leaving a huge opportunity down and i'm going to share real quick um let me see if you can see it i don't know what you could see but you see right here this is uh our home to suites by hilton and queensbury we're the number one property in the market and if we're not logging in and checking out the reviews then we're missing out on an opportunity to find out what our competition is doing, where we pl are placed in the market, and also, you know, what we could do to improve. And so number one is logging in. All right. So number two is update. If you haven't done this, this is super important. Most people have not done this is update your COVID message. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean when, you're, when I'm talking about update your COVID message? All right. So let me go back to, to the thing and uh, I'll pull up right here. All right. So see where it says, share your properties response to COVID. That means what's happening right now. And then if people are searching and traveling right now, that means you're going to, guess what? Update them with your latest um, safety protocols. What you guys are doing. So if you click on this, I included, I've added it for these guys real quick, but right now we're just adding this temporarily. Now, if you're a brand, um, I know a lot of brands, uh, I see that Hilton hasn't done this yet, but there's a lot of brands that have already done this. So, you know, part of your franchise agreement may be that your brand that you're working with or your franchise is going to be updating this for you. But we did this a couple of weeks ago where nobody was doing anything. So um, even Hilton, I think at this point, hasn't done anything. And so we just updated it, update this so people can see what you're doing. And this is free. Like this is an opportunity for you to promote what's happening at your hotel. So for this, for this property, for, for our home to suites in, Hilton, in um, Queensburg, we said summer 2020, which shows that you're in it right now and what's happening because I see in the past where people's descriptions are old, like two, three years old. And I'm like, what's going on? Like every quarter update this. And what I love to do is I like to talk about fall. I like to talk about summer. I like to talk about what period of the year we're in, right? If it's a special event happening, update your descriptions, right? And we're going to talk about that a little bit more, but for this, it's your COVID response center, right? And this is free. You can do it any Anytime. And for us, we wrote summer 2020, our hotel is taking proper safety precautions to ensure the well-being of hotel guests and teams, including enhanced cleaning and sanitization practices of all spaces and rooms. Feel comfortable in knowing our staff is here to make your stay safe, comfortable and, and enjoyable. Reserve direct for most flexible booking options. We look forward to taking care of you and your family. Now, do you like that? Like, isn't that something better than nothing? Right. Um, and that shows that you care. And you also have to think about what your what your uh, guests are looking for, right? And and I love that we could do that where we can understand like what they're what they're thinking about. So think about yourself right now, right? Uh, think about what your what your what what you would be what you would like to see when you're going to a hotel. So if you're planning a summer vacation with your family and it's going to be probably a drive, uh, you know, it might be a, like a drive that you do. And, you know, we're doing this in a couple of weeks, hopefully that where we take a drive and, and, uh, hopefully stay at some hotels or at least some family members houses. And I think we think about all the things that are important to us. Cause you know, if you're traveling, then you're thinking about like safety, cleanliness. Now, you know, there's, there's demonstrations going on. Is that hotel in an area where it's closed down, right? Or if it's in an area that is like a, in an urban area that you don't, they don't know what's going to happen or when they're going to open up, put that in the TripAdvisor COVID uh, update. And I think this is now I converted into like a COVID slash um, or like a pandemic slash um, uh, what's it called? Uh, it is a COVID slash uh, protest or, you know, uh, kind of one of those things where you have to update it. It's not just COVID now. And if you've noticed, like the entire media in the United States is convert. They, I, for, I think they forgot about the COVID thing. I think they just are now thinking about 
what's happening with uh, the demonstrations. And yeah, it's, it's super important. So we kind of need to be on both sides. So safety is going to be a huge issue. Um, I think, uh, and these guys, and, and thank you so much for the, the comments. Uh, and, and yeah, Jeffrey, you're right. We are all guests right now. We have to understand how they feel. And empathy is going to be a huge part of it, right? Like understanding how they feel and what they're thinking about and what their concerns are. That's a big, that's a huge part of understanding uh, where they're coming from. And I, I feel like that we could do those things with this COVID message, right? Uh, update it, let them know what you're doing right now and uh, let us let them know what's happening at your hotel. And I love that it's free. So thank you so much to TripAdvisor. And by the way, this is not sponsored by TripAdvisor, right? I asked, I did actually ask them to come on uh, and, and kind of present some of the things. And, and I was gonna talk about these things anyways, but it would've been nice to have somebody from TripAdvisor come on. Maybe in the future, somebody at TripAdvisor uh, will come on and uh, help us out because I think there's an opportunity for all of us to work together instead of just to trying to figure it out. But I think it'd be cool for them to come on and say, hey, you know, these are some of the things, or hey, Rupesh, you're actually wrong. You could be doing this instead. And I, I love learning those things. I love when someone says you're wrong, right? Uh, and, and so, all right, so that's number number two. I said, I'm going to share 10 ways. I'm probably going to share a little bit more. Um, and, um, and guys, remember, we're still giving away a $50 a gift card to smartguests.com. So please comment and let us know where you're watching from, where you're listening from. And if you have a question, right, I love questions when it comes to this stuff because I live and breathe this stuff. And, and, I, and I'll tell you at the end why, uh, why it's so important for my hotels. And I feel like it's important to everybody right now. All right. So the second, third thing update your contact information now if you're a ho if you're a hotel gm or if your dos was taking care of the uh the reviews and responding or handling that part or the portion of TripAdvisor when it comes to hotel operations and now they've been furloughed or now you have somebody else taking care of it but guess what those emails those questions that guests are asking in uh on the platform are might they might be going over to that person that is no longer at your hotel or they haven't checked their, their, their emails. And so I think there's a huge opportunity for you to update your contact information. And let us know if you've already done that. I think it's, uh, I, I think it's important that we, um, I, that we get that information right and respond quickly, right? Uh, I, I like when within 24 hours or less, I'm getting a response. And uh, that's huge, and especially right now where chatbots are a huge thing we talked about this in a couple of weeks ago we said you know chatbots are a huge part of the hotel conversion the marketing process so when you're going to onto a website you could actually talk to a live person or a chatbot and get answers right now so it, it would be a shame for you to not answer these questions when you uh when you have these other technologies that are answering questions like that so maybe that's one thing that TripAdvisor can do include a chatbot into the uh or, or if they already do i'm not sure but that'd be pretty cool if they could automatically answer questions right the most 10 or 20 questions i i think that'd be super important so hey uh, that's just a a quick tip so update your contact information see if that would help you and make sure you respond right uh let me go to the comments real quick now and see what people are saying um and, and ask a question guys please let us let us know yes parker thank you so much parker uh parker was actually a winner of ours last week and he did uh, uh did win a uh a free consulting session with our guest last week kate uh yeah definitely um all right so Next, have you guys updated your uh, your description? Now, I've been reading. So everybody I've coached in the last couple of weeks, I'm like, have you updated your description? And they're like, uh, what do you mean? And what I mean is, have you updated your description on TripAdvisor? Let me pull it up real quick because I think it's important. Um, I think it's important that, uh, let me pull it up real quick and let me see if I can get over here. All right, so I'm gonna go over to this page and see if I can share the screen. Um, just about. All right, so th this is one of my properties and uh, this is another property and here's a description. Now, if you, in the past, a lot of people would say, we're offering breakfast, we're, here's why we're awesome, here's a, a kind of a description about our hotel. 
things have changed in the last couple months now. People aren't talking about uh, why their breakfast is amazing or what they could do with the pool because it might be closed or their gym and some of those things, right? But if you read my description in summer 2020, I love starting up because this is a part of your SEO. This is part of search. When people believe like, hey, you've, uh, you're you updating this uh, information and you're, you're being proactive and you're being... Um, you're talking about what's happening right now instead of like three years ago when you might have won an award, right? So please update your description and re really quickly, I I've actually typed this up uh, for our for our property here um, and kind of worked with our GM to say, hey, what do we actually believe in right now? What are we doing to make people feel secure, safe, and clean, right? And so first uh, first sentence right there is summer 2020, committed to clean and caring. Two things that people really, really, really feel about, you know, that's valued. Um, our hotel family welcomes you to Daytona Beach in our award-winning hotel. Yes, we're an award-winning hotel. We're proud of it. We are committed to ensuring your stay with us is safe, clean, and secure, right? That's huge. That's what people are thinking right now. Are you safe? Are you clean? And are you secure because of what's happening right now in the in the world, right? And And... I think those things are important. Comment, guys, if you think those things are important. Um, Christopher says, adding a date to the description is great idea. Absolutely. I've been doing this for quite some time now. Anytime the season shift or we have a special event, go in there really quickly and update your content and in your description and talk about what people are searching for right now. So if you're talking about summer vacations, talk about summer vacations 2020, right? Um, or put the month in. If you're if you're willing to go this week where this is what's happening, is awesome. You have unlimited uh, resources to update this uh, description on your TripAdvisor. And by the way, you're going to be doing this for all the channels, including Google, which is probably the number one review site right now, according to uh, uh, Travel Media Group. They They do thousands of hotels and they're saying that this uh, review site, Google, is super, super important. It probably might even outdo TripAdvisor. Um, guys, what do you guys think? Are you getting more reviews on TripAdvisor or are you getting more reviews on um, on another channel? I would love to understand that. I think it's uh, it, it'd be important. Uh, let me see. Let me. Okay. All right. Good. All right. So descriptions mean everything. I am talking. Uh, Peggy says dates should be updated. Absolutely. I think. Um, I think it's important when you can let people know that you're doing something right now. All right, that's number four. Number five, and I've talked about this, I think like until my ears are bleeding, is video. Video is the biggest marketing channel right now or marketing piece, content piece that you can use at your hotel, right? It is a huge opportunity for you to, let me see if I can find a video. Um, so our game plan at, at some of our hotels is we're going to create a video with the GM talking about different parts of the hotel and how we've changed um, our our processes and our maybe our cleaning uh uh, strategies and some of those things. And I think if you talk about video is huge, uh, when we're talking about, hang on, it says, we see, uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out where, uh, where these comments are coming from. Yeah. I think it's huge where you can show somebody, uh, that here's actually what you're doing instead of a picture. Cause pictures, you may not, you might, you're like, Oh, I might, uh, it, it doesn't make sense. But I think video is huge when, it, when we're talking about, um, uh, each part. So what I recommend is go into, and let me see if I can pull it up and I could show, actually show you. Um, let me share this screen. Let me stop that and let me share another screen. All right, there you go. All right, so do you see it? You see it, does everyone see it? All right, so in your description, let me go back to overview and now if you go to your photos, click on photos, we're gonna get back, we're gonna come to photos, but if you go below it right here, property videos, add a property video from your phone. You don't have to use, um, you don't have to use any technology as far as like a high def camera. Your camera that's on your cell phone will cut it. All my videos that you see here on LinkedIn um, are through, uh, through my iPhone, right? And, and I think it's it's huge when you're talking about converting people and actually showing them what you're doing at your hotel. So talk about your pool, talk about your check-in process, talk about, and these are 30 second videos. Don't drag them on to like five minute videos because people don't have the attention span to 
uh, listen and watch these long, long videos. I think it's super important that we talk about what's happening at the front desk. So what the check-in process is, and you can explain with a 30 second video of what that's happening, right? Your pool, is it open? Your fitness center, is it open? And how you're cleaning it. So maybe you show somebody actually cleaning it. Maybe you show people how you're cleaning your room. Maybe if you use a fogger, you're using some kind of um, equipment to clean, I think is huge. And guess what? You can upload those <clears throat> to, um, excuse me, to TripAdvisor, to Google, to all these different channels. Uh, I think even Booking.com has a video uh, resource now where it is huge. <clears throat> and um, Melissa says Pinterest is huge too. Yeah, absolutely. I think all of these channels are a huge platform for video. And if you notice that videos get a lot more views than pictures do these days. So I'm looking at my um, my analytics for uh, on LinkedIn. And anytime I post a video, guess what? It gets thousands of views compared to if I post a picture or just text. So this is a huge opportunity for all of us, you know, um, to do it. Yeah, and and to convert those people into a booking, right? Think about if what you're if if you're the only hotel in your market doing video compared to you know, your, your competition when nobody's doing it, this is an opportunity for you to uh, get the upper hand when it's, when we talk about converting them, we're talking about online marketing and guess what? I love this opportunity where you can create this video and post it to multiple platforms. So you can also use this video for Instagram, right? You can also use this video for Facebook, Facebook lives. If you, you want Instagram lives, I love that you can take repurpose. It's called evergreen. So, you know, you can continue sharing these throughout the, season or throughout the year throughout multiple social platforms and i think uh i think these are great opportunities for video because i think a lot of hotels still do not use video as a uh, as a resource i think it's a huge opportunity all right so we're halfway through everybody with me if you're with me hit the comments and let me know that you so far written these things down and you know what? Some people are already doing a lot of these things and I'm, congratulations to you guys because you're on top of it. I would say 90% of the hotels are not doing this. And this is a perfect time when things are slow for you to make this checklist and, um, and respond. And I think I might just make a checklist off of these things just for, for TripAdvisor and some other channels and, and provide it for you maybe tomorrow at the end of the week. Let me know if this is uh, something that you do wish to download as a Kind of like a resource. I think that's. Uh, I think it's super helpful when you we have something that we're like, oh, I wanted to write these down, but I'm doing the check in at my hotel, or I'm doing all these other things. Um, uh, yeah, people are saying, yep, it is working out. People love the idea, Daniel. Thank you so much, Danielle. I love the idea. Um, I like it when you're yeah, you're renovating. If you're renovating your hotel, guess what? I love before and after pictures. Right, this is what it looked like, and this is what happens. Even when I post a picture of like back in the day or uh, in 2005 when I was doing this and then I put it side by side to like 2020 or 2019, people are like, oh my God, you guys did this huge renovation. And I love that you can, um, you can show up before and after. It's kind of like losing weight, right? It's like, I was, I was this weight and now I'm this weight. And people are like, oh, congratulations. You, you look wonderful. You look awesome. And it's a great feeling for us to kind of, um, kind of, kind of share those things. So yeah, I, absolutely. Um, uh, all right, so we're down with video. Everyone loves video, right? Uh, please don't be shy. Here's another tip real quick. This is a mindset tip. Uh, in the past, I would be like, oh, you know what? I'm balding and I don't have the right shirt on or I didn't shave today or I don't. Uh, I've heard this from ladies too. They're like, I didn't ha I, I'm not wearing makeup today or my hair's not right. This, guys, is a mindset. This is a mindset that people are, you're judging yourself over somebody else, more than somebody else, right? No, and I've had to get over this the last couple of years. I mean, I think like four or five years now, I've had to say, you know what? Let me sit back. I, I posted videos on and pictures on, or I took a video picture, but I never posted it because I was embarrassed of how I looked, right? And I think we need to get over that. I think we judge ourselves so much harder than anybody else is ever going to judge us. And I, I think this is a, a mindset shift that I've had to take. And I, I don't care anymore, right? I don't really care um, if somebody's complaining about what I look like or what my skin tone is, what we're talking about right now, or how my hair looks or whatever. I'm just here providing value. And if you think you're valuable and the information you're providing value, post it. And that's like a mindset that everybody should take in right now, um, especially these times where you don't know what's happening. This could help you with your personal branding. This could help you with um, with a lot of different things. And 
Yeah, you know, and, and yeah, Carl, I love it that videos don't have to be professional. It has just has to be authentic. And that's what I love. Like when you're not fake about things, you're an actual real person. And I and I and I think um I, and I yeah, I love that. It's just don't don't be shy. I think have fun and, and I and I truly believe that we have to get out of our shell sometimes to get out of it. And the huge opportunities come from that. So uh, just talking about video and I could talk about this video thing for like hours on hours on all the different little tools that you can use inside of video too with with uh, just with your phone. So everything that I've used on my uh, as far as videos, yes, I do have people helping me when I'm busy doing a hundred other things, but I have these apps on my phone. Uh, if you go back to the marketing uh, 50 marketing tools, I actually talk about those things uh, as far as marketing for your hotel and using video, right? huge opportunity guys thank you so much all right so the next one number six is photos photos huge 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 people are making the mistake and let me make sure i'm up, I'm up. let me see make sure this is uh share the screen all right huge 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 where people are not updating their pictures now we have beautiful pictures on our at this property right because it's a brand new property but I see right now where these pictures that you have, you might have, and I've had it in the past where I don't update it for like years. And guess what? It's a huge opportunity. Pictures tell a thousand you know, uh, stories. And I think this is an opportunity when you don't have video right now to update your pictures. And guess what? You wanna update your pictures on all the channels. We talked about all the platforms updated where if you show a picture of your award from 2015 and 16, you're making a mistake because it's five years later now and people don't really care. Like what's happening right now? And remember, we talked about the description of seasonality, seasonality right now, what's happening. So same thing. If you have pictures that you can upload with your phone, because remember your phone's a high def, high resolution uh, camera uh, and, and any phone in the last couple of years is that. So don't worry about that. Upload it. And guess what? Here's another thing. Upload it until you can get a professional to come in. You don't have to go spend the money right now, uh, but I do. I actually think it's worth it to go and spend the money and go ahead and update your, your pictures because that's what's converting people. That is what's converting people over anything. It's your videos, your pictures. It's the multimedia. I think it's huge. I think it's a huge opportunity for all of us to include uh, what's happening. So if you have a picture of the all the different cleaning you know, tools that you're using or the way your process is, take a picture of it, take a video of it. And I think pictures are a huge opportunity. Um, and I see still pe people taking their main, so if you look right here, this is a primary picture. Uh, it's not the bathroom. People, a lot of people make the mistake of like using this as their primary picture. And, but it doesn't sell anything. It just shows that you have a nice lobby, but it doesn't really show what people are looking for. So I also recommend if you're in a resort destination or your hotel is in a location where you're overlooking something, right? Or a, uh, a uh, special uh, attraction, show those pictures, right? Show pictures of what your city's known for along with your hotel. And I think that shows that, oh yeah, I'm gonna be staying at this hotel that's directly across the street from the Speedway or on a beach because that's what people are there for. They're not there to look at your lobby and stay in your lo their lobby, show pictures of your room as a main, right? Um, and I love that you can have this as a, um, as a main picture. Now, here's what I also recommend. Update the description. So see where it says photo description? Update that, tag it for what it is in the category. So then it pulls it into a, a, um, a uh, album, right? And so that way your pictures are all messed up and they're, and you're managing them properly, right? And, and now people are like, well, I have a picture of a, a roach that a guest took on my, uh, uh, on my, on my, on my uh, trip advisor. Hey, this is an opportunity for you to ask guests to post a picture. In the past, we would ask like, hey, you know, guests are happy. They're taking pictures while they're staying at your hotel. This is an opportunity. Mr. Smith, we would love for you to share pictures of your trip during uh, during your time here. Share a picture of you guys on the pool and people love talking about themselves. Guess what? This is an opportunity for your hotel to be a part of the conversation and your guests to be a part of the conversation too. So, you know, I think pictures are huge and tagging them properly is a huge opportunity, right? So I would definitely recommend that. Everybody with me so far? Everybody with me? 
You guys are good. All right. So, and Melissa Jones, yeah, you've been posting a lot. I love these. I love what you're talking about here. Uh, as far as these different uh, platforms, I, I like it. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in. And uh, guys, comment. Remember, we're giving away a fifty dollars gift card uh, to SmartGuests.com before the end of the show. I am picking. I'm reading. I'm kind of doing a little bit of everything. It's just me today, so I'm kind of nervous, but. Uh, uh, I think I'm doing an okay job. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right. So that is pictures, right? And we, we're talking about descriptions. We're talking about tags. We're talking about the featured image because a lot of people are like, oh, my pools, I'm going to take a feet. My featured image is going to be the pool. But guess what? Your pool's old. The furniture around it's old. It doesn't look good. And, um, and uh, I, I think there's an opportunity for all of us to see what people are looking for and then tag those and then put those as a primary, right? And you could do the same thing for each category. So you have a bathroom category, you have the exterior, you have an interior, you have a lobby, you have uh, amenities, you can do all of those things, right? Uh, guys, thank you so much uh, for all the great feedback. Thanks, You're, you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for the support. All right, so let me cross that off my list. Now, this is something that everybody, a lot of people make the mistake of, and I see it all the time, and it is asking for reviews. It's asking for what we really want at the end of the day. Like we provided everything. You've done everything to take care of the guests. You've made, you've bent over backwards when you're talking about making them, uh, making them feel good and special and making them feel comfortable. Like, hey, I see that, you know, it's hard when you have a mask on if you're working for it or behind that plexiglass now, right? It's tough. It's tough to like be barrier between you, but there's still opportunities for hospitality. And that's really the connections that we're making right now, right? And people still want to feel special. People still want to feel warm. People still want to feel that you are welcoming them, right? And guess what? This is an opportunity for all of us to connect with our guests and make them feel special. So understanding, it's asking those questions. Um, I, I know I've talked about this in the past is those 17 questions. If you just type in uh, Seven smartguests.com, 17 questions. You'll see the 17 questions that every hotel front desk uh, associate should ask, right? Pick two or three of those and ask the guest. Because even right now, as we are trying to social distance ourselves, there's still opportunities for us to make a impact on our guests, right? Where are they coming from? You know, how, what have they been doing? Especially these guests that have been loyal to us for these last few weeks, right? Um, but I, I, think, uh, I think it's a huge opportunity for you to get feedback which is my number one thing. So before you just ask for reviews, we're not asking for reviews at check-in. We're asking after we've made sure that they really enjoyed their stay, they've done, you've done everything you can to make sure that they've had a memorable experience, right? And then get comments, like grab some comments from them and say, Mr. Smith, how was your stay? What's one thing that we can actually improve on? Like what are some suggestions that you can, you can share with us that can help improve us and make sure our future guests feel safe, uh, comfortable, and clean with us, right? Uh, I'm, I'm sure people that are traveling right now have stayed at a few hotels now and they see different ideas. The best ideas come from our guests because they are traveling all over the place. Now we're stuck in our bubble, right? We're stuck in this hotel that we've worked like 17 hours a day and we're, we're, we don't know what's going on in the world. And if we're lucky, we get to jump on LinkedIn and really talk about uh, what's happening. Uh, or see what's happening, but really we're in this bubble, right? So there's a huge opportunity for us to get feedback from our guests and ask them because they always have great ideas. I've had the best ideas come from our guests, right? So this is our chance to collect feedback and then ask for a review. And we talked about this in, in the 50 marketing tools. And uh, I think there's some opportunity for technology to take a, take, uh, take place right now. And I think there's opportunity for a whistle, a platform like whistle. So I think it's trywhistle.com or just Google whistle. It's an engagement platform. There's also hello shift, which is an engagement platform uh, within your team. And then also with guests for texting uh, SMS um, and some of those things. So I think it's a huge opportunity there. Email is still huge. Guess what? If you're running low occupancy, 10%, 20%, 30%, that's 30% or if your hotel's 100 rooms, that's 30 rooms that you have an opportunity to make a connection with during their stay. But then there's also a huge opportunity for you to make them feel special by sending them a, a direct email or a postcard or a text if they feel comfortable, right? Um, there are some opportunities right now for you to build engagement, build their trust, build their loyalty 
with just asking and then, and, or getting the feedback and asking for reviews. And I think it's huge opportunity when uh, we can do this. So uh, even simple tools as a, a card that you hand out that you have at the front desk, send, you know, share your feedback, Mr. Smith, here's my personal business card, grab it. So you're not handing it to them. Cause I know, I know uh, contact, we're trying to be contactless. If you have a, a stack of business cards uh, at the front desk that you can give out uh, or they can collect, um, I think it's a huge opportunity for them to put something in their pocket that rem reminds them of you. And um, and uh, on my notes is this smartguests.com, another shameless, shameless plug. You can build customized review cards on smart guests uh, under the review uh, tab. And another opportunity when we have, we've had thousands of hotels uh, purchase these and see results, right? So whatever platform you use, we have an opportunity to make a connection, get their feedbacks, fix any problems, right? It's not just getting feedback, but it's fixing the problem. I think a lot of hotels are like, oh yeah, Mr. Smith, enjoy your stay. Here's my, here's the key. And by the way, don't forget to post a review. And I'm like, oh my God, can he, did he actually ask me for a review at check-in? <laughs> and I think there's a huge opportunity for ma making people feel special, right? Um, let's go to the reviews real quick, or let's go to the comments real quick. And, and guys, thank you so much for all the comments here. You guys are asking really good comments here or, or questions um, and posting great tips. I, I like it. All right. So if you're not using reviews as an opportunity, please use those because you're pulling yourself in the rankings when you have a lot more reviews, right? Reviews are huge. It's kind of like, I always talk about this when you're talking about uh, this Yeti uh, container and you you see it on Amazon and you see two of these, right? And if one seller, and guess what? It's not just Amazon selling, it's individual selling or companies selling to you. So when you're usually buying on Amazon, it's not just Amazon selling, it's people selling to you. That's the platform, right? So if you see this, and it has maybe let's say a 3.5 star rating and it has like 2000 reviews. And then you see this other one on this side, it has four or five star review and only has three reviews. Which one, which one, this one or this one would you actually purchase? Let me take a sip. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to wait and comment. Let me know which one, uh, the thousands of reviews or the one that has three, but has perfect, um, rating, which one would you actually use? And then we'll talk about it. Comment, comment, comment. Let me know. Let me know. Which one do you actually use? The one with a lot of reviews or the one with just three reviews and maybe a better better rating? I think it's important when we can understand uh, marketing. And then also, you know, I, I think it's a, a huge opportunity uh, to understand how reviews work for the benefit of your hotel. Um, all right, I'm still waiting for. All right. So uh, Jay says thousands. Uh, Peggy, Peggy says three. I, I appreciate that. Uh, Laura says thousands. Um, uh, I would much more, but yep. Everyone's saying, or a lot of people are saying thousands. And, and, you know, I think it's important that we understand that, that, you know, people, and this is the mindset of most shoppers online is I'm looking. So think about this. When you shopped on any platform, no matter what platform it was, it was always that, you know, the most reviews got it. So this is our opportunity uh, to get in there and get more reviews, right? That's our goal. People have enjoyed, like if you have tw 10 guests, guess what? They've enjoyed their stay. That's why they keep coming back to you. You have loyal guests that keep coming back to you. This is your opportunity. This is your opportunity to connect with them and then ask for a review. You have that same construction group, that crew that comes in every week, ask for reviews. And everyone, you know, across the board, I think the majority of people are saying reviews reviews right i think it's a huge opportunity more reviews the better so this is our opportunity and yes yes they're saying it shows credibility it shows credibility that you can be top ranked right and i, and I love that opportunity so all right so that is reviews now another of the top 10 ways to optimize your hotel's trip advisor listing to get more bookings is to respond right and this is the thing that most hotels <laughs> they don't get the they don't get it right they they don't respond quick right we're not talking about um waiting like weeks and weeks because guess what guests are shopping right now they're seeing how active the hotel is are they if do they actually care and it's kind of like you know reading 
or responding to someone that you had an argument with or something like that. It, it shows that you're actually caring and being proactive instead of just letting people talk about if it was good and bad. So your response to any of the reviews on any platforms is huge. So Google, TripAdvisor, Expedia, Hotels.com, Booking, respond to all of them. I see a, a lot of hotels that are like, well, we're not going to respond. We only respond to the bad ones. No, this is a marketing opportunity for your hotel to show that you care, you're engaged, and you're active on social, right? And reviews are a huge part of it. And I, I love that we can we can um, hang on. I love that we can just continue doing this with um, with reviews and response in, in mind. Now, when we're talking about responding, don't just say thank you for staying with us, and we'll see you next time, right? I see so many hotels right now that uh and yeah christopher you're right responses are tricky don't be defensive you know i've i've been i've read reviews of our hotels in the past and i'm like oh my god i can't believe that guest gave us a one star and they killed us because maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't right or maybe it wasn't um maybe they were just it was fake right or maybe it was um wasn't accurate well, it's your opportunity to show how you would respond if they were in front of you at the front desk, right? And that's a huge opportunity for you. So if they're talking about the cookies or they're talking about how bad it was, respond showing their, you know, their username, dear Mr. Smith or a 4545 uh, <laughs> Beach or whatever the, whatever the username is, dear, whatever. Thank you so much for bringing this to our attention, right? And then responding. And what I love doing is not copying, but sh understanding how other big hotels so i always look at vegas like how are they responding how are these really boutique hotels or luxury hotels responding and i love getting those ideas from them because you know i don't like making up things i like to take ideas from different industries make them our own we're not saying plagiarize we're talking about uh we're talking about making it authentic and really being customized with each uh review response and here's another thing you excuse me, when you're responding to reviews and if you don't have time, allocate somebody else that can, that does have the time. So you might ask a front desk supervisor. You might ask a front desk manager. You might ask a front desk associate because they're really engaging and they have great co communication skills, right? They have great writing skills. There are those people on your, on your property that will do that, will help you. And I love that you can delegate these things because I feel like a lot of GMs in the past or, or right now, they're like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take care of that. Well, we don't, we are spreading ourselves too thin and then we get stressed out, right? You're like, oh, I have these 50 things I have to do today. And then you're like, I didn't get to any of them because I had to now deal with this get problem guest or this one issue or this one complaint or this issue that we had with our boiler or whatever, whatever it was, right? Um, I feel like we, if we delegate, I think it's a huge opportunity for us to um, keep going, right? That's our, that's our goal. It's our goal is to keep going. And I love that we can have our entire team on board. Uh, thank you, Tina. Uh, yeah, I, I think there's a huge opportunity here. So respond to reviews, get, do it quickly. And I say within the 24 hours or 72 hours, you have, we have to respond to all of these reviews to make sure that our, our, our listings, our plat, you know, our platform is optimized and this is across every channel. So we're talking about TripAdvisor, but I think it's a huge opportunity for us to build this marketing because it's good for SEO, you know, it's good for a lot of different things. And I always like to recommend closing it off by thanking, like being the proud GM of the hotel, um, thanking them for staying with us. We look forward to the business, your business again. Like say these things when you're closing, that's a call to action. You're not just reading it, but like, hey, we would love to take care of you one more time or a few more times. Please visit us back in the summer when we are, when our pool opens or whatever happens, right? I love that you have this marketing opportunity to it within the reviews to, uh, to get uh, a response and then just help your hotel boost its ranking and reviews. Because, you know, you know, TripAdvisor also uses this as an opportunity for an algorithm to continue boosting your ranking. So the more reviews you get, the more positive reviews you, you have, your, in, your chances are increasing to get uh, to be number one or number two. And you know, here's the thing. I always said we had to be number one. We had to be number one. I'm okay with number one or number two or number three, right? As long as you're on the first page, I'm okay with it because guess what? There's always going to be someone that has a brand new hotel or a hotel that's a $50 million, or a hotel that's gonna be much better than yours. But if 
you know, and that could be number one. I'm okay with being number two. It's okay, right? Um, and that's another mindset. Like we focus on being number one, but then we take away from the service side. We take away from all these other things that could be driving us, right? Because sometimes it just drives you crazy if you just think about we have to be number one, right? Uh, and I think there's a huge opportunity just for us to respond. So uh, that's number eight, responding to reviews. Everybody's with me so far. We're almost coming up to an hour and um, I hope this has been uh, helpful. So hit the comments and let us know. And we're giving away for the end of the, um, you read the comments real quick. And yeah, I think, um, yeah, I, I agree. We look forward, we look forward to uh, hosting you in the future. There's a lot of cr creative ways to say it. Uh, and yes, I do agree. How about mailing thank you cards to our guests after a stay? I love handwritten cards. Yeah, now, the next thing, number nine, is an incentive program. It's not like we're gonna be paying our guests to write reviews, no. We're going to incentivize our staff, right? We've never, if you don't do this right now, it's a huge opportunity. Incentivize your staff to be a part of the whole program, right? The easiest way is, hey, uh, anytime somebody anytime somebody gives us a positive review with your name mentioned on it, you'll get something from us. So a staff member might get a gift card or might get points that add up to something else, right? I love that we can keep everybody engaged. And right now, we don't have an opportunity to give raises. But guess what? We have an opportunity to make people feel special and be part of the team. And our, our goal is to get more reviews. Our goal is to get better feedback on social because um, that's a huge, that's where all the business is coming from right now, right? And getting your team involved is huge with an incentive program, with some program that's going to get them involved. And I love that we can have these goal settings that uh, we get our entire team on board and say individually, how do, uh, uh, Michelle, what can you do as far as getting reviews this month on all these different channels and maybe set a goal with them? Same thing with uh, when when a review shows up, have the have a game plan of actually making that associate feel special. Maybe the first one this month, when if you start an incentive program, make make it a big thing. Like, congratulations. She did a great job. The guests will let her know that we, this is something that we really care about, right? And if you don't show that you care about it, then it just falls on the wayside and then nobody really understands how powerful get reviews are, right? So far, um, <laughs> let me drink some water. Um, I think it's a huge opportunity when you get your entire team on board. The most simplest way to do it uh, to get start is have everybody download the TripAdvisor app on their smartphone. Now, everybody these days has a smartphone. Have them download it. Now, anytime you get near names mentioned the same day and you show it to me, like if you just come up to the front desk and you're checking it, like in the morning when you wake up or at night when you before you leave and your name shows up on the review, guess what? Show it to you. You might get a bonus. So for us, I think if you show it, if you show, you might you might get, uh, I think we used to do $5 for any time you showed us your name that same day it got posted. Because that way you, we, show, we show that you are caring about this uh, program, right? It's not just about the hotel, but it's about yourself. And we're happy to take care of you. And so I love these different things. And yes, um, uh, somebody says uh, doing uh, templates for response is dangerous. It is super dangerous. I think, uh, I think uh, just copying and pasting templates is or copying pasting a response doesn't definitely work all right so someone else says pizza at the front desk definitely works i think a gift card uh while on shift would work too i think there's a lot of different opportunities be creative this is the time right now where we you have an open uh you have an open uh platform to kind of uh to be creative with anything it's better than nothing right um and i feel like guests are super engaging when you can or get a staff are super engaging when you can have them be a part of it. And guess what? Here's another thing. When you're talking about buy-in for a, a specific program, I love, I love when you can have the entire team share their ideas on how to build this program. So it's not just like, oh, go do this, right? You're, you're not a you're not a leader when you're talking about just go do this, but be having them be a part of a conversation of how you're going to build this intensive program. Like, what do you guys want? What do you guys want if we give away? we gave away something to you guys for doing your job and going above and beyond, right? What would you guys like? What kind of gift cards would you like? What kind of incentive program? And I love that you have them share and then implement some of those things. I love that you could, they can be part of the team when you can have them be a part of a program, right? Huge opportunity. All right. So everybody with me so far, we have one more and I'm going to probably stop this in about 10 minutes and pick a winner. So guys, uh, 
please comment. Let us know. And I'm going to be picking a winner before the end of the show. And <laughs> Jennifer says, come stay with us at the Spring Hill Suites in Montgomery. Absolutely. Uh, when I'm traveling, I definitely will stop by your property. And um, yep. All right. So the next one is mobile. We kind of already alluded to it. So mobile is a huge part of the whole process and how you look and appear on social or on mobile is huge. So uh, across all channels, look at how you look on a mobile site and make sure you're optimized when you're picking it. So even descriptions, are they short and sweet or are they long where people have to scroll and kind of do those things. We talked about the incentive program when you're talking about uh, when we talk, when we were talking about uh, the staff being on, um, on, on, uh, on the program too. So have them download the, the platform and have them download the TripAdvisor app or the Google business app or something where your reviews are and let them go search it every single day. I think it's a huge opportunity. All right. So everyone says they, uh, thank you so much Viva for this, um, for the, for your feedback. I think it's important. Um, all right. All right. So, so far this, that was number 10. Now there's a whole bunch of other things that you could do within TripAdvisor to boost your listing. And I could probably go into like, specifics on each one of them on a uh, huge opportunity, but I think there's an opportunity just to learn within TripAdvisor. Let me pull this up real quick in the banners. Uh, da, 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 da. When you go to tripadvisor.com forward slash insights, you'll get to see all the different tools and techniques that they recommend for your hotel. And I, I recommend that you go and, 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 and look at those things too, because uh, you know, they might help. They might come up with a new initiative. I think they're coming up with something here soon, and that could help you increase your visibility. You know, there's also chances of you doing advertising. And right now, I know a lot of a lot of hotels don't have the budget for it, but they have a huge advertising platform for you to be number one as a sponsored ad. That's an opportunity when we're talking about marketing. There's a lot of different ways to optimize your LinkedIn or sorry, your TripAdvisor profile. And I think there's uh. Yes, and, and Peggy, I'm glad Peggy brought this up because I almost forgot about it. Let me share what she just said. Um, Peggy says, oh, let me use it. Use, use, uh, use a TripAdvisor sticker on your emails. Now, what does that mean? That means you can go to TripAdvisor and go and get their sticker that's on there. Let me see if I can just pull it up. Maybe I can pull it up for you guys. It's under marketing tools and um, click on marketing tools and Come on, come on, come on. All right, so let me see if I can share the screen real quick. All right. Um, all right, so if you look right here, you'll see that there's an opportunity to for you to get widgets and you can copy these, right? And um, put them on your email as a, as a way to get reviews, right? If you're, especially if you're sending them out to guests. Now there's another, there's some other tools where you can do promotional and order stickers, right? Uh, there's a lot of free things that, uh, that you can do to entice guests, right? Um, see the stickers that are available, right? Or, you know, review us on TripAdvisor, check out us on TripAdvisor. I think there's a lot of opportunity for you to promote. And I think there's some free opportunities too right now. So don't forget to use the management page and go to TripAdvisor Insights to kind of understand uh, let me pull this off real quick and kind of understand what what it takes to kind of boost your your ratings, reviews, and all of those things, guys. All right, so that is the end of the ten ways, um, and I shared a few more other tips uh, on how to get and improve your reviews. Now, if you're not focusing on reviews uh, while things are slow, you're not going to <laughs> focus on reviews when things get better. So this is the perfect time for you guys to improve, all of us to improve on the uh, on the platform and I, and I think there's multiple platforms that we talked about that you can improve on so don't just don't just focus on TripAdvisor because money and reviews and, and and bookings are coming from all these different channels right if you think that Expedia or, or a OTA or whatever site is bringing you the most business focus on that one first and then re rely on the other ones right maybe you, you do this one thing on TripAdvisor or whatever channel and then you say hey can somebody help me do this? And you grab an associate from your team and say, just duplicate this. And by the way, don't copy the description from TripAdvisor onto your Google. Don't make it the same because for SEO, search engine optimization, it is not good for it, right? Uh, you want to have different descriptions. So 
I always love going to the big brands and understanding what their hotel descriptions look like. And right now they haven't, they haven't updated it. So this is your opportunity uh, to get a writer, get somebody that's going to help you kind of explain what you guys offer right now with clean friendliness, secure, safe, some of those things. Right. Uh, and, and I love that we, we have that uh, opportunity. All right. So what did you guys think about this uh, session here? And, um, and, and, uh, and what, what did you guys think as far as uh, the content? I think there were some cool things that I that I hopefully shared with you that you're gonna you're gonna use and take back today and and hopefully at least learn one thing, right? I was I was like the idea of learning one thing to take back to your hotel and improve your um, your thing or your uh, your your scores or reviews or your property. And all right, so now we're gonna give away the fifty dollar credit to. Uh, to smartguests.com and let me just pull that up real quick uh, guys uh thank you so much for smartguests.com and that's a shameless plug because that's my website that's who's sponsoring this show this week and um and by the way guys if you have a company that's interested in, in sponsoring please hit me up in the, in the direct message and let me know um, i'm happy to look see if there's an opportunity for you to uh if you own and operate a service or that is valuable that is helpful um that you might want to sponsor, right? I think that's an opportunity for you. All right, so I'm, I'm reading the comments. I want to pick somebody that's uh, that was super engaging, and it's so hard because there's there's I think there's over a hundred comments here now. Um, I, I wish I could pick all of you guys because I think there was uh, there were so many people that commented here, and um, I really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. I think the person that really wins this session, and I, I think you all agree is Melissa Jones and congratulations, Melissa. You just want a $50 uh, credit to smartguests.com. You, you posted all these great tools and techniques and tips for all these people. Guys, congratulate Melissa Jones on uh, becoming the big winner. And um, next week we're gonna have somebody awesome, guys. I'm super excited about that. We actually have a, a featured guest next week that's gonna come on and uh, share some ideas on how he has built this uh, how he he leads a huge hospitality company and how they're opening up now and how they're uh, committed to these clean and caring um, mindset now, right? So guys, thank you so much for this opportunity. If you really enjoyed this session, please hit up the comments and uh, please hit up uh, uh, hit the like button right now and share and support. So you can also share right now. Click on the share button. It'll share to all your connections. I think there would be people that are wanting to learn this, right? I think there's a bunch of GMs and DOSs that take care of the TripAdvisor or this review platform that they're managing that could potentially help out, right? So definitely hit the share button. And guys, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, let me see if I can post this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, no. Um, hit... Uh, Guys, if you want some more review, more um, ideas on reviews and how to boost them, I actually have a whole blog on, on, on reviews and it's all types of reviews, different platforms. And I'll say, go to smartguests.com forward slash blog. You'll be able to find articles there that have gotten 100,000 re uh, reads and some of those things. Guys, thank you so much. Congratulations, Melissa Jones. And you can watch this anytime on my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Rupesh live. And you can definitely find all the past episodes there and future ones that, that uh, you'll be able to subscribe to. So go to uh, my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Rupesh live and hit the like button on today's episode and subscribe. I, that, that would uh, feel, uh, I would appreciate that because that shows that we're all in this together and we're all gonna make something happen. And guys, be safe out there, take care of each other. And I will talk to you next Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. Guys, thank you so much for this opportunity for me to share this with you. Please share this with others. Thanks.